Hello guys, welcome back. This is the last video in the chain lead series and we are going to cover the deployment part. As you can see here, we covered video one was about intro and chat with PDF. Second one was about chat with documents or text files as well as text and PDF combined. Third one was with chat with CSV. Fourth was with chat with CSV, but we use Docker to containerize the app, right? And the fifth one will be now deploying this chat with CSV into Google Cloud platform, right? If you see here, there are different deployments, uh, deployment methods in chain lead documentation. I tried with fly.io, but I was not successful there. There was some error. I, try, I, was, I tried with replit, but there was this link and I tried to follow the video here, but it doesn't work. I thought I would go with the Google Cloud run. I tried with Google App Engine also and it didn't even went successfully. I tried many things and finally the Google Cloud run works. So that is what I have documented in the readme file. We'll go through that later. So yeah, this is how the app looks like. So this is now being deployed in the GCP as I mentioned before. And we need to provide the open AI API key. Then we can go inside the chat with CSP. That is what I showed you in my earlier videos, right? And this is the Google Cloud platform. This is the Langchain CL chat with CSP, the name I have given for the project. And it is being deployed in GCP. All the code will be in the GitHub repo. And we will be going through this deploy app on Google Cloud using Cloud Run. So we already covered this part of the repo in the earlier video right but one thing to mention before i start is many of you asked me to create the custom chatbots apart from the open ai models so in the next one i am going to create the video related to the open source models llama 2 so stay tuned for that now I am on the GitHub repo. I am going to go through same process again so that you don't get confused. Always, if you don't have machine ready, always use the GitHub code space, right? So here I am going here and then create the code space on main, right? I will create this one. It will take some time to load up the environment. Okay, setting up the remote connection. When this is being loaded, we will now go through the readme file. Okay, there is the readme file now. Let me make it smaller. Maybe now there will be some configurations. Yeah, as, as before. We went through all the different things uh, all the way here, right? Now we will deploy app using the Google Cloud using Cloud Run, right? For that, we have two files, app.ml file. So it is here. So we don't have many things here, but just random things. With, uh, we are building this with docker files so runtime custom and environment flex and then these are some of the things which helps because this costs money and by the way before going through that i will also show you that in google cloud platform you will get some credit when you sign up for the first time so i'm using i think they provided me 300 euro free credit so i'm using that credit to deploy the app so you can also create the free account and use that right now let me go back to the file and what else we have here in the readme let me go there is this dot g cloud ignore this is configure the file to ignore all the file or folders to be uploaded in the g cloud right so that is nothing new here so there is the docker file is used to deploy and before using g cloud you need to install g cloud cli if you haven't already right so now just to check that if you type g cloud i don't have g cloud right so this is what i have mentioned all the instructions for you here i followed this instruction so i can click this one right if i click this it will open here and i'm using linux so this is the one that i am using so it depends which one you are using right so what you can do is just copy this part here go back to the terminal and here you can just do control v okay i can allow this to do and i can press enter right so this is going to download this and what is the next step if you go here the next step is to extract right so you can just do tar xf i will copy this i'm not copying all the part because we need to i can do control v and then 
we there is a file downloaded right so that is google so if you type g o o and do tab it will auto complete here and you see here there is already the downloaded here right so you can just do enter it is going to extract everything from this particular zip file right so it will take some time to extract this once this is extracted you will see a folder being created here called google something let me refresh this okay tar there should be a folder here being created yeah okay here you see google cloud sdk right so now if you go to the documentation once you installed in order to use the g cloud instead of this right we need to make this in the path otherwise you need to type this. if you now still type g cloud it will not work right but if you type this google right and then bean and g cloud if you type enter then it works and it, it will recognize that there is a g cloud right so in order to perform that let me do q yeah what you need to do is follow some of the steps here you need to open the i'm using the zshrc right i will just copy this command and control v and i need to go inside this particular file right and i will type capital z capital a to the last line and what i can do is copy this particular thing here control c i can do control v but you need to replace this path to g cloud here right for me it is on the current folder so i will do dot escape colon and wq to save right and now what you need to do is save and close to make these changes take effect you need to source your zshrc i think not source here but let me try if the source work or not i think i need to provide something else okay i need to provide zs yes so but if you are using bass then source might work right but here i need to provide zsh okay so now this is being loaded now if i type g cloud then it will show something here i will type g cloud version just to show you the no the spelling mistake here i o n right so yeah now you see that we configured g cloud correctly so this part is also now done this is uh, one of the things that many of you get confused so i'm going through step by step this one later i will just say you what to do right so the main uh, steps to deploy now next right so first thing first you need to create a project in gcp right if you click this account you will land into the google cloud platform right this part here so you need to go here and create a project if you click here maybe you you don't have anything else here you need to go to this new project and you can create a project here i will not go through this because i have already created the project and my project is this one so i need to get the project id so this is the project id i can just copy right so you need to do the same thing here go back and this is done so g cloud auth login right you need to be logged in with this particular google cloud account right for that let me clear the screen so you can type g cloud auth and login so it will ask you to click the link you can click this link and then open it will ask you which account you want to choose you can choose the one that is for you you need to say allow and copy the code go back here and in the terminal just paste this enter right now you need to config set it is mentioned here right so or or before that you can type g cloud auth list in order to see if it is configured correctly right so yeah my email address is shown here so it is configured correctly you need to create a app inside this particular project id so go back here you need to copy this id go back to the terminal i am not going to perform after this step i will just say you what to do because i have already done this and it's not that difficult the difficult part was to configure g cloud and other stuffs right so what you can do here is just g cloud app create dash dash project 
and then you can just paste this thing right i have already done this so i'm not going to do this again and the next thing you need to do is this next command gcloud config set project and the same id here so once this is done it is okay and the next thing that you need to do is set the billing account right you need to set the billing account for that particular project so for that if you go to the project in the ui i think it's better by doing in the ui if you click on the project you are right so i am in this project if you go to these three dots there is this billing account management right so from here you can choose the billing account so here i have choosed my billing account for you it will ask to choose the billing account for that particular project so that is just one hurdle i had to go because i forget this and it was not deploying i was getting error all the time once that is done enable services for the project so you can just copy these two commands in the terminal right after that is done you need to create the service accounts with permissions right so for that what you need to do is just copy the command this command and just paste it here if you want to provide different names you can provide different name in this particular path and you, you can just give different name for this but this one must be the same as what you create the id right so if you go to the account if I go back to the CLI, so same as this name here. So this is this name. Just copy these commands. Replacing this particular name. Just run this one, two, three, and four commands. And this also you can give whatever you want, right? Once this is done, then all the service accounts with permissions will be created. And to view that, as you can see here, I am I am an admin, right? If I go here. I have all the different things here as you can see so this is how you know that who is the owner and all the different things right so after this what is the next step you can check the artifacts location right so for that what there is the command already you can just copy this command go here in the terminal let me clear the screen control V and list right so it will show you like okay it says the required property is not currently set it can be set or pre-command basis by running the command as project flag right so gcloud config set project value so for me i haven't i'm not running all the different commands here so it is showing issue but for you if you run this particular thing it will provide some artifact location by that you know where to create the docker uh, image right so there is this command again you need to run this command just copy this and europe west 4 right this is what you can provide your own location and the next thing you need to push the docker to the artifacts registry so you can just copy this command and the one thing that you need to be careful here is langchain cl chat with csp this one you need to provide the one that you created right so it is what it is being provided right okay so once this is done you need to push the docker to artifact registry right so you can run this particular command you need to assign the authentication just run this particular command and then you need to push the docker to repository so first you can check what are what are the docker images you have with the docker images command and then docker push and then you can just pass this thing and this push docker image will be displayed when you run the docker images when this is done then you you push your docker image then you need to just deploy the app using the cloud run right so just run this particular command but then again when you deploy replace this langchain cl chat with csp app with the name that you prefer and then the image will be the same as this one here right when you run this the app will be deployed once the app is deployed it will provide you the link in the terminal itself then you can just run the command my app is running on this particular location i can click this right so it is going to load which i mentioned earlier also but it is taking some time to load here i have already opened the same thing here right this is the same app you need to provide the open ai api keys right the link will be in the description but if i go here 
I have the open AI API keys. I will create the new one. I will revoke this once the video is being created. So don't mention in the comment section to remove it. Control V and then save, right? So it says saved successfully and now the app is being loaded here. So this is the same what we did with the chat with CSV as well as chat with CSV with Docker, right? So what you can do now is browse files or take some CSV files, right? I will take the same movie statistics CSV file and now this is being uploaded. Now you can ask as many questions as you want here, right? Just a demonstration, I can say how many columns that I have been asking previous also. Okay, spelling mistake, but it will understand. So how many columns? There are 14 columns. So you can go and ask as many questions as you want. And the good part of chain lead is that if you type something, there is already a cache being provided here. So latest matches, how many columns, right? So now if I again run this, how many columns, the answer will be fast. As you can see here, it just gave me the answer because that is being placed in the cache and it provides the answer quite fast. Just to provide you more things, I can say column list, right? So it is taking some time now, right? To provide the column list, right? Uh, let's wait for some time. It is taking some, okay, now it provided the column list. But now if I go again here, how many columns? And if I run this, it provides, okay, how many columns, right? 14. If I just go and say column list, it will provide direct answer. So that is how the cache is working behind the scene. And that is the good part of chain lead and creating the app using the chain lead. Okay, so that's all for this video. In the first part, I went through step by step, but then I just show you the commands, right? Because it will, it will take some time and I don't want the video to be quite long, but all the instructions are provided step by step. So yeah, follow this and let me know if you face some issues in the comment section. So I, as well as some of you who have already done this properly can help you to go through the app and yeah, Thank you for watching and in the next, I will be going through the Lama 2 videos. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.